Let's make a summer charcuterie board. Add some bowls to add dimension to your platter. Then separate your cheese on different ends of the board. Place a variety of different crackers in organic shapes around the board, touching all your cheeses and bowls. Make sure each cracker is in at least two areas on the board. You can even add a cup with some breadsticks to add some height to your board. Having a wide variety of both cheese and crackers provides a really full layered look. Next, fill your bowls with some of the items that might get lost in the mix. I chose mixed nuts, mozzarella balls, and some really yummy and tiny pomegranate seeds. Next, add some meats that complement the cheeses on your spread. Place them in very organic shapes across the board. Try to avoid placing them in clumps, piles, or straight lines. I also like to assemble each meat differently. Prosciutto, I do clumps, salami, I roll it, you can fold it, whatever you think, but make sure that each one is styled differently. Next, you're gonna wanna add in some really colorful fruits and vegetables to give it that summery feeling. Again, make sure each food is in at least two places around the board so that no matter where your eye goes, there's a pop of color. This is also where you can have a ton of fun with layering. A great charcuterie board has a ton of layers, so stack on top of each other, add fruits on top of your cheeses, and mix and match everything all together. Now to complement the savory, you have to add the sweet. I always love to add a jar of honey because it tastes so yummy with cheese. A couple yogurt covered pretzels and some really sweet macaroons will just give it that little sweet touch that your cheese needs. Not to mention the sweets add even more color to your board. You can even top with some jam. Last but not least, nothing says summer like fresh flowers. While these ones are not edible, snipping a few blooms and placing them across your board really gives it a beautiful aesthetic. I also like to take some fresh greens and tuck them underneath the food around the board to give it a look like all of this was picked fresh out of the garden. Top a few items on your board with some fresh basil or mint or thyme. Add some really cute cheese forks to each cheese selection and your board is done.